In the previous episode, we looked at a mistake that students can sometimes make with their algebra. Here's another example of a mistake students make. And what I'll do, just like in the last question, is I'll make the mistake first so you can see what you don't want to do, and then we'll talk about how you actually approach this. So students might do this. Okay, so we have 2a plus 3 minus 4a minus 8. So they might say, okay, so 2a minus 4a is negative 2a, and then 3 minus 8 is negative 5. And then this equals 7. So negative 2a equals 12. So a would equal negative 6. Now, unfortunately, you can't even grid that in. So you would be at a, you know this would be wrong. But negative 6 is not the answer. And what is the problem? The problem is the student forgot to distribute the negative. So you're going to subtract 4a from 2a. But then you're going to subtract negative 8 from 3, not positive 8, right? It's not 3 minus 8. It's 3 minus negative 8. So the thing to remember here is whenever you're subtracting a quantity, Think of it as like distributing the negative. So really this is 2a plus 3 minus 4a minus negative 8. So it's going to be plus 8 equals 7. And now we'll go ahead and solve this. We get negative 2a plus 11 equals 7. So negative 2a equals negative 4. a therefore equals 2. And that's our answer. So that's another mistake to watch out for and make sure you don't make. To learn more about Reason Prep's SAT, SAT subject test, and ACT video courses, go to reasonprep.com enroll, and you can find the link in the description below the video.